back to Hawaii because the place is just amazing. It's just power and beauty, and everything's intensified when you hear like you paddle out and you either scratching out of some wave that can kill you or getting out of the way of some local that wants to kill you. Yeah, the most intense part of my life has been the hours I spent out in the surf here. We were having like a good fun surf off the wall, and um, suddenly we saw a guy like on the inside that had been caught by a set while he was duck diving. And um, Sasha just shouted that the guy needed help. So all the South African guys scratched onto the inside. Um, we picked him up, put him on Sasha's board, and immediately we saw that he had like a deep gash in his head and his whole scalp had peeled like um, all the way over to the side and he was bleeding pretty badly. And while we were paddling him in on Sasha's board, it was just like a miracle that no huge sets came through or it would have been really bad. We could have lost him and he could have gone under again and drowned. I think we got hit by a small foamy like right on the inside, but it was just, Paddle the guy all the way in, just the top of his head was just ridiculous. I kind of grabbed him under the arms and just kind of walk, walked out of the water with him. Tried to get him as far up the beach as possible. Just to have that many people, I think, kind of helping the guy and helping him so fast and just having the luck that there weren't any sets that came through at that exact time. He's one of the luckiest guys. Pretty intense, really, really thankful that he seemed right and he managed to get him out of the water. You gotta try not to think about that when you're taking off on a wave. Or else you'll never ride anything. My friend was right next to him. Dropped him right down. I think I just threw him on his back onto the ring. <laughs>